So Deck HD, yes, I've had a chance to go hands-on with Deck HD. This is the version of Deck for the iPad, of course, and it works pretty much exactly like you would expect. If you've seen the iPhone version, then you know exactly what to expect. You get this little bar on the side of your device, and you have your toggles, you have your shortcuts, and all sorts of other goodies that you can access very conveniently using a simple activator swipe or gesture of your choice. Uh, we're going to get into deck settings here now. There are tons of settings that you're going to be able to find here. This tweak obviously is still in development, so there's still some things that might be changed or some additions that may be made, so just keep that in mind. But for the most part, what you see here is what you're going to see once the tweak is released. Now you have the default view. You can set that up here. There's the deck view. Of course, you can change that to custom actions. Once you add some custom actions, which we'll do a little bit later, don't have any there now. And you have toggles, which are like your... SB settings toggles, like Wi-Fi, airplane mode, etc. So that's really nice. Then you have the deck location. You can actually change which side of the screen you want deck to appear on. The standard is right, not keep it on right. And then you have the appearance. You can also change the appearance to make deck lighter, just like that. You have the light linen look, and then you have the dark linen look. I definitely prefer the dark. I think it looks a lot better. Now here's your activation method, and, and literally you can choose any activator action that you want to use to invoke deck, but the best way to do so is to swipe in from the right or from the left, and you can set that up right via the activation method settings panel right there. Now performance is an interesting idea here. If you turn that on, the dim screen on, the background will actually dim once you invoke deck. Notice that. And I can actually change the value of that to dim in, at different degrees. So the lower it is, the less it's going to dim. Of course, the higher it is, the more dim you have. But the downside of this is that it does decrease the animation performance. So you're going to notice a little hiccup there with the animation. Not too much of a big deal in my opinion, but there is a little slowdown with the animation. Just keep that in mind. Next up, you have the cellular toggle, and this allows you to switch between either a data or a 3G toggle. And then you have the default applications. Now, what's nice about this is that you can assign a different application to either the camera, the music, or the mail app toggle. Now to showcase this, let's head over to the music app toggle and notice all these various music apps that I can assign to that particular toggle. So if I change it to Spotify and go back, the music app will open Spotify, if I have it installed, of course. Same thing goes for the mail app and the camera app as well. Now you have these custom actions here, and each of these custom actions can correspond potentially to one of the applications below, uh, as you see here, the application presets. Now, if we go into those presets, for instance, application one, you'll notice you can assign it to any application you have installed on your device. So I can set it to Cydia if I want to set it to Cydia, just like that. But if I go back up to the custom actions, notice action one is launch application. So that'll actually correspond to the predefined city application that I set up below. Now for action two, you don't necessarily have to have a launch application action. You can choose any action that you want as long as it's a valid predetermined action contained within deck. So I think we have everything set up like we want it. We have launch application and search Google. So let's head over to our custom. One more, there we go. All right, so you could see the search option below, that is the search Google action, and then above that is the launch application, and that application is, of course, assigned to Cydia. So if I tap search, guess what happens? It opens up a Google search just like that. Super simple, folks. Now, I'm trying not to overwhelm you with all the options contained within this tweak, but there's even more. Yes, you have power options. You have respring, reboot, safe mode, power down, lock. You have those options there, and you also have a microphone option, which... That is not enabled right now on this version of deck. It may be enabled in the future. You're just gonna have to see. You have your music option, which of course I don't have Spotify installed right now. Otherwise it would have launched Spotify since I assigned the music toggle to Spotify. And then there's the camera toggle, of course. And you just tap that and it'll open up your camera application that you have assigned. All right, we can close that out. Let's see what else we have here. We have the at sign, which allows you to send messages. You can send emails or tweets. And this thing just doesn't stop. <laughs> we have, let's see, I think one more option down below. You guys kind of cut it off for you. But it's just basically accessing your toggles and the settings like this. So, folks, there are tons of options here, as you can see, with Deck HD. It is li very much like the iPhone version, but in HD. It looks even better on the iPad's large display. It looks especially good on the new iPad, of course. Now, 
that's not all. There are other things that you're gonna have to figure out with this tweak. It's just a lot to cover in one simple session, but I did wanna cover this. Developer gift, that is one of the actions that you can assign to your toggles. What does that do? Well, we're gonna find out right now. Let me open the developer gift here. You can see I have it assigned to a custom action, so let's head over to our custom action, tap the gift, and guess what happens? Actually, I'm not gonna spoil the surprise for you. You're gonna have to find out for yourself once Deck HD drops on Cydia's Mod My Eye Repo for $1.99. There's still no ETA just yet, but as you saw, Deck HD brings a lot to the table for very little. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.